I just have to start this video by saying I have no plan for what I'm about to do, but we're just gonna start moving stuff and we'll see what happens. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sierra Science Nerd channel and welcome to a new video. So, even though you guys have had a video from me from almost every week for the last three or four weeks, um, I have not actually said my intro in three or four weeks. If you don't know why I've been gone, I have been gone and why I pre-recorded a bunch of videos, go watch my July reading journal video. I did a little bit of talking and explaining where I was this entire time. This is my first video back at my house and yeah, it feels weird to be back in front of the camera, but I'm also very excited about it. So let's get into it. So I asked you all on Twitter and Instagram what was the last video you wanted to see from me for July and you guys picked organizing my bookshelf. So you guys know that I have this bookshelf behind me, but what you don't know is I actually have another bookshelf in my room that you all have never seen and it's actually not being currently used for books even though it's a bookshelf. Let me show you what I mean. All right, we're going vlog style here for a second. So here's my normal bookshelf that I have normally kept my books on, but we also have this shelf right here in the corner of my room is a little hidden and it's a little bit in the dark, but today what I thought I would do is clean out all of the crap on this shelf and actually put some books on it and just basically use the shelf for what it's supposed to be used for. So you might say to yourself, well, Sierra, it doesn't look like you actually have enough books to fill both that bookshelf and those three shelves over there. But um, let me tell you, what you don't see is this. This entire thing is filled with books and this entire crate is filled with books. So normally those two containers live in the garage where they are collecting dust and it's a little sad because those are books that I love and they deserve to be displayed. So today we're going to not only fix up this bookshelf and get rid of all the clutter that's on it and things that are not book related, but we're also going to do the same to that bookshelf and we're going to display most of my books if not all of them. I'm hoping that I either don't I have enough or I don't have too many. So we're just gonna see. I don't have a plan for how I'm about to do this. Oh, you ever have to take a deep breath after you're talking for a long time? Let me calm down. The only semblance of a plan that I have is that I plan on filling up that bookshelf with as many hardbacks as I can besides a certain series that I want to go on that shelf. Um, and then yeah, I'm basically just going to order from tallest to smallest on every bookshelf that I can and do hardbacks first and then fill in the paperbacks wherever they go. I'm not gonna try to color coordinate because that would take forever. So we're just gonna start chucking things on shelves and also getting rid of some clutter. And yeah, I'm excited to do this. I'm really excited to see how the shelves look at the end. Of course, we're gonna do some before and afters right now, but without further ado, let's just get into it. All right, so we're about to start on this shelf. I have this pillow. It's a bookish pillow, but I'm actually just gonna use it to sit on because I am on my hardwood floor. And yeah, so we're gonna get started on this. I'm going to pop on my headphones and we're gonna time lapse this. My first order of business is to take off all of the junk and put it somewhere else. Um, and then we'll get to organizing the books. So enjoy the time lapse. <laughs> So this is officially all of the hardback books that I'm going to put on this shelf. I'm going to start chucking in some of the paperbacks that I think might look good, but if it looks a little crazy, I might reorganize and might make this bottom shelf paperbacks only and then put some of these hardbacks on that shelf. Like I said, I had no plan for this. I'm really just doing this off the cuff, so it really just depends on how it looks. And I also might rearrange up here. I was kind of trying to do it by height, as I said. Luckily, most of my books are the same height. Like, look how aesthetically pleasing this is. Um, I might try to rearrange by color, just like similarity, because the hate you give being very bright red looks a little out of place next to these dark books, but we'll, we'll do that once I have everything on the shelf and I can like get a holistic view of what it looks like. So for now, I'm going to start checking on paperbacks and we'll see what it looks like from there.
And with that, I think that's this final shelf done. Um, I might toy with it in between now and the end of this video, so I'm going to insert a little after shot right here, but um, it might look a little different by the end of it, but I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I'm a little, it's a little bit barren up here, so I might toss some more books up there. For now, I think I'm gonna call this one done and we can move on to the next one. in front of shelf number two and as I said at the beginning of this video this shelf obviously is currently not being used for books so the first order of business with this one is to take off all the stuff that's currently on it so that I can make room for some books and I'm going to be using a bag for this just to like kind of throw things in the bag that I'm going to relocate eventually and also to chuck in the trash but the funny thing about this bag so um on this side, it says out there, hashtag out there, which was a campaign from my school, uh, basically to show students that travel around um, the United States. And I don't really use this bag a lot because on the other side of the bag, it's my face. <laughs> So the backstory is that um, this was actually a banner that was hung up at my school. This is me at the Grand Canyon. My hair was a lot shorter there. Um, and basically, once the school took, once my school took the banner down, they were like, "Well, do you want it? Um, do you want the banner?" And I was like, "Sure." And there was actually two copies of this. So one of them stayed a banner, um, and I gave it to my godmom. But the other one, they were like, "So we're gonna make them into tote bags. Do you want yours?" And I was like. I guess. So yeah, I don't use this bag because it has my face on it, but it's the only one that I have hanging in my room. So we're just going to pretend like it's my face is not on there. And yeah, we're going to use this to chuck some stuff off of the shelf so that we can make room for a lot more books. I still have a ton in this other crate that I haven't even touched yet. So let's go. mark of this project I just finished cleaning off the shelf of you guys just saw and I'm glad because I'm starting to get hungry it's lunchtime so let's go ahead and get the rest of this done so I'm a little nervous to do this shelf just because I really don't want it to look tacky because most of the paperbacks that I have like left over from like the ones that didn't go on the other shelf are kind of like weird heights so I'm wondering if it's gonna look a little weird because they're not gonna be evenly like you know heighted I, what word am I trying to say there I don't know um but yeah I have this first top shelf reserved for um, some hardbacks that I didn't want to put on that shelf. Basically, if you've been on my channel, you know my childhood favorite book series was the entire Seekers and Survivor series, and I have most of the books in hardback. Not all of them, but most of them. So I'm gonna go, to, go ahead and like allocate this shelf and maybe a little bit of this one to those hardbacks, and hopefully that brings some cohesion to it. It might just be this shelf and the bottom shelf that look a little wacky. I'm hoping that they don't, like crossing fingers, but yeah, let's go ahead and pull them out and let's just start organizing.
I just ran out of books. That's actually all the books that I have. Um, I only really kind of fill these two shelves if I put these like horizontal. Um, yeah, I'm kind of shook. I thought I had enough books to do all three shelves, but I guess I didn't. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do with this last bottom shelf. I think I actually might move some of the really big books that I have like underneath this smaller bookshelf and just put them on display for this one. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I have one last thing to do and that'll be the end of this project. camera around so many times filming this video I don't know which side to be on anymore. So this is the finished bookshelf. Um, I know it's a little bit barren at the bottom, a little disappointed I thought I had enough books to fully fill it in but you know what that just leaves more space for more books so we're gonna take it as a good thing. So yeah I have one last thing to do before we end off this project and end off this video and that is um, we're gonna hang up some fairy lights because I bought these because I was like, you know what? What is a vertical bookshelf if it doesn't have fairy lights on it? Like, let's be real, okay? So yeah, I bought these from Target and I'm just gonna go ahead and take them out and string them up. And yeah, this is the finishing touch, so let's do it. have 11% battery left on my camera and one minute worth of footage left on this SD card so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. It took me about two hours. I started this at 1:40, and it's just about four so a little over two hours but I'm so happy with the results. It looks so much more clean and now I just have to see where I'm going to put all the stuff that I took off that shelf. That's another project for another day. <laughs> Besides that though, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like and let me know what you think of the makeover below and I will see you all next Sunday. Bye everybody. Bye.